What if I told you that you could have an AI senior engineer automatically review every pull request in your GitHub repository? Watch this. I am going to create a pull request with some changes to my sharding project. As soon as I hit create pull request, within seconds, an AI reviewer has analyzed my code, identified potential issues, and left detailed feedback. All completely automated. No human intervention required. Look at this. It has caught a potential SQL injection vulnerability, suggested better error handling, and even recommended performance optimizations. This is the power of automation we are building today. And the best part? This entire system takes less than 15 minutes to set up. Let me show you exactly how to build this yourself. For those new to N8N, it's a powerful workflow automation tool that lets you connect different services without writing complex code. What makes N8N special is its visual workflow builder. You drag and drop nodes, connect them together, and create powerful automations. It's open source, self-hostable, and perfect for developers who want more control over their automation. N8N has hundreds of integrations, from GitHub and OpenAI to Slack, databases, and everything in between. Today, we are using it to create an intelligent code review system that rivals what you would find in enterprise development teams. First, we need to set up our credentials. In N8N, go to Credentials in the left sidebar and click Add Credential. Search for GitHub and select GitHub API. You will need a GitHub Personal Access Token. Moving to the next step, now for OpenAI. Add a new credential, search for OpenAI, and select OpenAI API. You will need an OpenAI API key from platform.openai.com. Search for GitHub Trigger and select it from list. Next, you need to search for specific GitHub action. In this case, we need pull request action. Now, we will configure this specific action. Note that GitHub credentials are automatically selected. We will add correct GitHub username. Once added, all repositories under this specific account will pulled and displayed under dropdown. From dropdown, we can select the repository we want. Let's hit back button, and now we can see our trigger node is displayed on dashboard. Let's run this single node and create pull request. We can go to the GitHub and create a new pull request against main branch. As soon as pull request is created, we can see this trigger node is executed. We can open this particular node and check all the metadata generated as an output from this node. Next, add an HTTP request node. This will fetch the changed files from the pull request. We will drag the pull request path from the input and suffix it with files since we want to retrieve all the files that were changed or added in this particular pull request. We will select the credentials as a bearer token. Note that the GitHub token we added earlier is pre-populated. Let's execute this node and check the output. We can see that all the patch details have been retrieved and added as the output of this node. Add a code node. This JavaScript will create AI prompts for each changed file. The JavaScript code creates detailed prompts for each file change, including the file name, the diff patch, and specific formatting instructions for the AI response. This is the node where we will add our customized review instructions as a part of prompt. We can improve this instructions as per requirements later. Add an OpenAI node for the AI analysis. From list of actions, we need to select message, a model action. Note that credentials we added earlier are auto-selected. From list of models, select a suitable model. Drag a review prompt that we created earlier inside prompt section. Make sure JSON mode is enabled. Let's execute this node. As soon as we execute, we can see review comment is generated and added as output of this particular node. Add another code node to format the AI responses for GitHub. This JavaScript formats the AI feedback into GitHub's review comment structure, exactly what GitHub expects to receive as a part of API payload. Let's execute. We can see every object in comments are has exact payload structure that GitHub expects as a part of add review API call. Finally, add an HTTP request node to submit the review to GitHub. Select the method type as post. From the input dropdown, select the GitHub trigger node. There, you will find the GitHub pull request URL. 
drag, and drop this into the URL field and suffix it with reviews. Select the credentials as a bearer token. Enable send body and fill in the required details. First, specify the body, which is the generic comment you want to add to the pull request. Next, set the event type to comment. Then, pass the actual comments. You can drag the comments prepared in the previous node and drop them into the comments section. Let's execute this node. And as we can see, our review comment has been successfully added to the pull request. Save and activate your workflow. The webhook URL will be automatically registered with GitHub. Let's test it. I will create a pull request with some intentional issues. I have introduced new feature to search vehicles with VIN number. It has a few issues, and those should be caught by our code reviewer. Watch the workflow execute in real time. Each node processes successfully and perfect. Our AI reviewer has left detailed contextual feedback on the exact lines that need attention. We can see our code reviewer has found unoptimized code, security issue, and incorrect error handling. You can customize the AI's behavior by modifying the prompt. Wanted to focus on security, add security guidelines, needed to check for specific coding standards, include those rules. And there you have it, a fully automated AI code reviewer that works 24 seven, never gets tired and catches issues your team might miss. Thanks for staying until the end of the video. We'll cover a few more N8N workflows in the upcoming videos. So make sure to subscribe.